Talking Network. We're on. What's good, guys? Welcome back to Wrestling Rockers. <sighs> Medaris Antonio. All right, Williams. What's popping, guys? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's going on, man? Let's try to get you looking at the camera more than. I, I know that it's hard, though, because even I'm looking more at the screen than the camera. I'm just looking at your awesome Hulk behind you. That's like. Right. Yeah, like that shit. <laughs> that shit. Florida. Fair years ago. Bloody hell. Sick. He may not be my favorite Marvel character, but that's a pretty awesome. Pretty awesome Hulk. Like that shit. Love it. And you know, like Hulk, man. This is probably why I want all my wrestlers roided up. It's probably because of that. When I was a kid with Hulk. So I saw that as so much as a kid. That and he, man. That that's what I think of. And the fact that my granddad was a bodybuilder. I think that has clouded my mind. Everyone needs to be a bodybuilder. So I'm guessing Ultimate Warrior was your favorite? For a minute, yeah. Mm. Obviously, I was too young to know that he couldn't wrestle for shit. <laughs> too young. You didn't care about that. Back then, you just saw the bright colors and him just running around. <sighs> that was it. I was like, so, this is the best. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So hold on. I'm glad you said it. So that, that means you liked Brewers, Beefcake. You liked nah, he, Hulk he Hogan. Was, he was missing. Like he smashed up his face. Bro, what's Baracus, Hercules. Uh, I think all these roided up guys. Are you talking um, power and glory with Hercules? They were okay. Yes. I was Legion of Doom. <laughs> Legion of Doom was the team. The team, and they're in that. That they count as being uh, monsters, definitely. Mm. All right, fair enough. They're a really impressive. Oh, yeah. If you could gorilla press a man, then you're in there. I hear that. I hear that. What about Lesnar? I like, I, I'm okay with Lesnar. Uh, early Lesnar, not this Lesnar. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. This. Early 2000, yeah, oh, 2002 Lesnar. Yeah, he was Batista. I, I know you weren't really... I missed most of really right when he came, but I missed... Oh, right. He really became a solo guy with um getting the championship. That's when I stopped. When I moved out of that shit. But anyway, I mean, guys, cool. then he got injured. Yeah. we got to jump into this, man. A lot's been going on in the world of wrestling. It's like, mm. it's never a dull moment. 2020, just won't let us quit. It won't let us rest. It just won't, just chill. Just have a month with this, just chill and nothing happens. It's, it's mad. But, boy, British wrestling in particular is taking a mad hit right now because all these guys are getting exposed for just being creepy pieces Douche of... Douchebags. Douchebags. Yeah. Like, it's sad. On, on the scale... <laughs> You know, you got guys that are legit being uh, accused of raping chicks and beating them up all the way to just straight, you know, the the, Kof, the Joe Kofi side where they're just creepy, man. They won't leave chicks alone. DMing, sending dick pics. Who the fuck still sends a dick pic? Everyone it's knows. 20, 20. People that. still do that. People still do that. Oh, who the fuck does that? <laughs> no, chicks ain't in, they don't care about that shit. They don't like that shit, man. No, huh. they want to see it in they the flesh, like not on a... Cat, what's wrong with you? But, dude, some of the names though, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go through any because apparently there's like 75, I think, at the last count. This is all from like indies and established rest, wrestlers. There was, there was one dude that got his title stripped um, on the indies. Yeah, one, one was far. that was, he was the first. Was, he was the hmm. first, the king of the independence, David Starr. Uh, yeah, he had his uh, defined title. Stripped his ref pro title, stripped his OT T title, stripped TNT. Like a guy had like five, four or five titles he was carrying because, yeah, he's, he's the guy on the Indies right now. He's American, but he's based in the UK. And yeah, yeah, well, David Starr's done. This it. Done. This is a guy who'd carved his career out of never needing to go to any federation. Always, that was his whole thing. You saw his t shirts, he's always independent. The guy that always strive to have a, a union for wrestlers. Oh, that's out of the window now. None of that's happening now. <laughs> Crazy. All because of, because, mm, man. Like, what the ones which are real shockers, though, Jordan Devlin. Even though you look at Jordan, he looks a bit of a creeper, but the fact that he. He looks like a little bit of a creep, though. Yeah. But the fact that he. Yeah, I didn't think he was on that level. The, the picture that a girl posted, though, with all the bruises all over her body. 
He was literally beating the shit out of him, man. Like, whoa. I, did, I, I, whoa, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Yeah. Oh. Just beating the fuck out. He's like, and he ain't even been fired. He's been suspended. And I guess you have to investigate, but they got rid of Gallagher straight away. Jack Gallagher. Well, uh, you know what? Let me, let me quickly touch on that one. What did they even... And I'm, I'm not... I'm not... This might come out a little bit controversial. But other than the allegations... What were they doing with him? What were they doing with him? Because even when um, someone else got fired for allegations as well, Enzo Mori, remember? Yeah. When he got fired for allegations and then he later on, he got through Yeah, later on. Then he got through Dillison. Mm. And yet WWE don't want to touch him. Obviously, Enzo made those songs or whatever, but I mean... It's too much a headache, he is. It, it, yeah, it but... You a lot but about my point is, I mean... Come on, what could you do with him? That big old old tattoo as well. I mean, parts of his look, but it yeah. tells you it speaks volumes that Riddle's still there and he's been accused of yeah. choking a chick and forced her to give him head. Uh, Devlin technically still there, even though he's suspended. I think Joe Kofi's still there, even though he's been suspended. But Gallagher, I guess they had nothing for him, so they just kick him out and said, "Oh yeah, well." But in, in, you, play devil's advocate with the riddle, the fact that he's debuted on SmackDown this week and, you know, they're really pushing him. Is, and he beat AJ Styles. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. But the thing we'll is, get to that. apparently so, there's been, um, you know, to balance it out, the accusations, to balance it, not to say the woman's lying or nothing, but there's, apparently they've known about this chick for like two years and the family's lawyers have been, you know, aware that she's Bob, she's been accused of stalking the family, that her and Riddle had something going on back in the day, and she ain't letting him go. So I don't know, man. Crazy chick syndrome, possibly. We don't possibly, yet. possibly, guys. Remember, I said with the fingers, possibly. Okay. In Travis Banks, another big indie name, big star in what? progress. And it's to UK, yeah. He's gone because uh. He, the one chick accused him, and then Millie McKenzie came out. Remember, no? Yeah. Apparently, when she was 17, he trained her and got her into like a state of like a secret relationship, but he wouldn't tell no one and wouldn't want to be seen with her in public. I don't want to know. I don't know. No. Yeah. No. But she no. came out, admitted all that shit. El Legero, the guy with the mask. <clears throat> He come out as being a creepy son of a bitch, stalking chicks and just sending bad messages and like, ugh. they're just creepy, man. They're just like, ugh. I look at these guys. And it's please, like, Pete like, Dunn, no, please, Pete Dunn, no, no, not even with Pete yet. I, no, no, <laughs> not not with Pete. yet. I, I'm hoping there isn't a, a yet. You know, mm. no. If, if 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 he comes out, he done something. I'm done. I am. He, and you know, Mustache Mountain, them guys seem to be caught right now. Those guys are caught. Mm. But um do more stuff come out with Velveteen Dream. Yes, um I can't look at creepy. I'm done with Dream, bro. No, uh, is that he, true though? I mean apparently well, got hat. I've seen too but much. Is that true? I've seen too much. Like there was that. That was like a couple of months ago where he he the the new picture of himself that was in the conversation thread that he sent to some chick. And he tried to say that he was hacked and this picture was used in this thing, but the picture hasn't turned up anywhere else except for this message thread that's being screenshotted. But that ain't even, the, that was months ago. That was like ignored by WWE. This is some new shit that's come out. I think two or three other conversation threads with boys, with dudes that are like 15 and 16, where he's in the conversation, he's asking them about their age. And they're like, and he's like, don't worry, man, you can come hang out, but don't tell no one about this. You can understand my situation. Email, an email thread, and one was like a DM thread. And I'm like, Rah. I'm done. Uh, no, I'm like, I'm done. I can't. I can't. Sorry. Canceled. You're canceled. Done. You're canceled. I don't want to hear it. Well, I don't want to hear it. Some people say it's just allegations. Come on. But the rumors with him messaging guys was around when the nude came up. And now that we're seeing threads, you know, you, this stuff can be faked, but, bro, it's too much. Too many people. I just it's, can't. <laughs> I just can't, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
<laughs> you're cancelled. And people were talking about R. Kelly being cancelled and still banging out R. Kelly songs. Yeah. This dude is cancelled. Sorry. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. He's cancelled. You can't be doing that, man. Oh, maybe this is why he hasn't been getting much of a, a push on NXT for a while, man. They ain't really done much with him. He had yeah, that match but takeover, thought... but that was like he lost. He weren't really. He's an afterthought, innit? Kind of weak in that match when I think about it too. Who died? Who else? Like, it's too many names. Too much. It's too many names. The NWA vice president. He's being kicked out. Dave Lagana. Apparently, he was doing some fucked up shit. <laughs> Damn, what coach? Wrestle talk as uh, one writer has quit there because of not because of anyone new, but because you know that Adam Bumpy. Yeah, because of they hired him. And because with all this bobbling up, it's brought more light back on that guy because he was doing the same thing, innit? He was chatting to 17-year-old girls on the line and trying to get them into sending them news and stuff. It's like, oh, God. That's weird. I like Adam as well. You want to like him because he's likable, but yeah. Uh, it's there. It makes you remember it like, oh, fuck, yeah. I thought, hey, do you know what? That thing, it's not like I forgot, but it's like, you know when you just kind of like sweep it under the rug, mm. but you know it's di- you know you know the yeah, same shit with Jimmy, the same shit that everybody knew about Jimmy Snooker. You know that type of shit. It's de- it, no, it. it's on par. It's on par. I'm gonna be real. It's on par with Jimmy Snooker, right? Oh. I know you go to the soul, but still, it's it's on par. All right, we all remember that shit. Some people like Jimmy Snooker anyways because of the memories he's cultivated. And a good thing is one of those guys in the internet that know how to book matches and make it look cool. And then you find out this shit and it's like, oh, mm. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. oh. AEW's ring announcer. You know, what's his name? Robert. Rob. What? What's his name? Who, hey, Justin? Yeah, Justin Roberts, that's it. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. Dude, you thought it WWE. Come on, come on. Huh? He used to work in WWE, remember? Yeah, but I forget his name. But yeah, it's AEW. Justin Roberts, yes. Conversation thread with him, chatting with some chick who turned out to be 17, where he's like, how old are you? She's like 17 or 16 or something. He's like, don't worry, blah, blah. Saying, oh, oh, you're cute. Man. Send me pictures. What the, what the fuck, Jimmy Havoc? Chick coming out saying that he was just... To be honest with him, it was more just emo shit. That he was just uh, cutting himself in front of her and just cussing her and just using her as a verbal punching bag. But then apparently that chick is saying some other girl contacted her saying that he raped her, but that's, we don't know yet. We don't know about that, but. That's a very big allegation. Man. You get me? But AEW's yeah. put him into rehab. They released like a statement saying that. And he's got drink and drug issues. Didn't he have a tag? Yeah. Did, well, he's supposed to have a tag, but, oh, is that why? Oh, wow. He's wow. been tagging. Remember, that was on Wednesday. This shit really broke on Thursday with the Justin Star stuff, so... But I thought he had a... I thought him and um, Kip Saban were supposed to face um, Paige and Kenny for the titles. I say they're number one contenders. I'm pretty sure. Not anymore. Oh, no. Oh, well, I must have missed something. Yeah, Damn. he's in rehab. He ain't, ain't going to put him on TV. Well, me. no, but I'm pretty sure that was what it was. But that's pretty effed up, dude. Fucking old parent from what I'm what people are talking and I googled this and and it, apparently this is there have been like threads and reddit things about this uh going around for a while. This has all brought up some old shit with um Marty Scroll, where depending on where you find the information, some people saying that it was either a girl who was fifteen or sixteen that he tinged with. If it's sixteen then Taboo. Ugh. In this country, technically 16 is legal, but legal, it's still but kind of fuckery. Still... Yeah, it's yes. still kind of... Yes. Yeah, but if it turns out she was 15, then that's a whole other kettle of <laughs> penguins for him, man. That's like, bro. Marty, Marty, party, Marty. Dang. Damn, damn, damn. I hope that is not true. Really, I really hope. Man, like Marty. Man. Nah. Saying, so, yeah, what's who's the um uh I'm blanking on the chick's name the old Ring of Honor women's champion that's disappeared. 
The one you liked. Women's champion. Yeah, before they got rid of it. The one that I liked. Yeah, you liked her. You thought she was all right. I didn't like her. No, I just thought she was hot. I didn't say she was good in the ring. What's her name? What's her name? Um, Kelly, innit? Killer Kelly, right? Kelly Klein. That was it. Kelly Klein, that was it, yeah. Yeah, she's saying that she was raped when she was 18. She hasn't named him, but by someone who's very known, well known now at this moment in time. So back then he wasn't as known. But she ain't saying Whoa. his name. So that's like, like it's just old fair. And a lot of these people women 20, 2020, man. Yeah. A lot of these women that are doing man. these accusations. They're not some of them are fans, female fans, but a lot of them are female wrestlers that were like when they were training when they were like 16, 17. That's when a lot of this shit went down. I remember we were talking about May, um, we were talking about May, was it May Young? No, the fabulous Moolah. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about, remember we were talking about Moolah? Yeah. And all the, the shit that was going on with her, how she was training the rest of yeah, yeah, yeah. She was pimping them out as well. And yo. It changed. Yeah. Was, when was that? It was like the 60s or something? And that was like the 60s, the 70s. Yeah. Like the 60s. Yo, that's messed up. That's messed up. 50s. Yo. Ain't nothing changed. It's like, raw. But 2020, dude. 2020, no matter what, has been absolutely a mess. COVID-19, yeah. this shit. Yo. I, oh, God. It's, I, I really don't know what to say. It's a, it's a mess. It's a mess. Yeah, can I it's a mess. Do rubber shit. It's um... A- and this is on top of like, it's starting to spread outside, depending on whether, what you guys are into. Like, if you listen to a lot of podcasts or comedy, then it's just spreading into that realm as well. But this ain't really the avenue for that. But if you know Chris D'Elia, ooh, oh dear. But hmm? yeah, it's crazy, dude. What's going to oh, happen? Wow. Is Vince just going to be like, fuck yeah, they shut down NXT UK. It's too much hassle. <laughs> <laughs> it makes money, goddammit. Dally, my boy. And this is literally only from Thursday, really. So there's going to be more. There's going to be more. What's not even name? three days. Not even three days, bro. Harper Niven, I think, was saying that she was just waiting for other people to say something first, saying they've all got stories. So it's like... I hope not her. Well, she, said something. Not. she said, so who's going to go first? That's what she tweeted. So it's like... Bro, when did you hear that? Yeah. It makes you think, like, whoa. Oh, a lot. Dude, dude, the most random of all of these, I think Evil Uno admitted that when he was, like, 14, he had to wrestle in, like, trunks to, for some priest. That was his thing that he came out with. When he was four, he had to wrestle for a priest. You know what they say about some priest. Yeah, they? Exactly. Oh, Lots. Man. And there have been like a few guys being accused, like a referee that tried to grab guys' dicks when they fall asleep, and it's like, and it, it's I, I'm wearing the right t-shirt today, aren't I? Oh, yeah, it's it's what's happening, man? Oh my what god, what is going on? Not just in this in the world, but in pro wrestling, man. It's like what? It's like this mad epidemic of just. Ugh. So we found out. That a lot of people have been Harvey Weinstein and yeah. a lot of these referees. Yeah, Jesus. pretty much. Jesus. Pretty this, much. This is too yeah. much. I've, this is li- like I said, uh, there's bare more that I can't even remember and I didn't write down. But you can just go on the speak out hashtag on uh on Twitter and you'll just see them. You see everyone with their stories, man. Accusations at this point, but you know when you show pictures of people's conversation for his freaking cornet and his wife, you hear that one. What? Yeah, like when they're at OVW, <laughs> yeah, OVW, like the wife would tell guys to perform sexual acts on her in order to help them. And if they didn't, oh, you know, she would like no, 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 get them black. No. And then, you say, serious, then other guys, this is multiple guys, they're saying that even Cornette would sometimes make them do it to his wife and he would watch. Yo, he's come out and said, yeah, that's bullshit. He's laughed it off, but. Dude, man. It's Cordette. So mad. <laughs> it's Cordette. That's so mad. But this is the thing. It's Cordette. I don't know what to believe. I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't know. I mean, he's a very polarizing, controversial figure as yeah. it is. 
And again, they, had something email, like that. they had the conversation though between the wife and this wrestler and about, you know, what was gonna be going down from a couple of years back. So like I said, there's evidence there. <laughs> Mental. I can't take it seriously. I really can't. Mental. You should laugh, man, because people are suffering, right? No, it's not funny, but it's, I mean, it's Cordette. You know, I'm just laughing because it's Jim Cordette. Like, man's telling other wrestlers, listen, you are not getting the world title if we mm-hmm. don't fucking bet over my wife. Mm. Basically. Mm-hmm. Basically. So, it's pretty much. What Bubba the Sponge Love was doing with Hulk Hogan, just Hulk Hogan went running around screaming the N-word. Yeah. Bro, man, Basically. How, how many double people got stories, man? We're going to see. He's going to speak out. Yo, a lot of people were in OVW, you know? I know. Roman Reigns? I know. Randy Orton? No, not Roman Reigns, but Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, Sean Benjamin, Cena? Cena? There's probably more the stories about sure. Randy because Randy's got the his five. own. Remember, there's all those dude. scandals that Randy had, but WWE have been real good at. Dude, dude the five over. knuckle shuffle. That's all I'm gonna say. I'll leave. This, I'll leave that to you. Yeah, Randy's got bare, bare scandals, but he's 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 been able to. He's been bulletproof with that shit, man. Because they love yeah, him well, just to let anything go down with him. He's the greatest wrestler ever, isn't it? We'll get to that. <laughs> They're really pushing that shit, man. Oh, uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in the show. We'll get Damn, to that. Damn, but oh, yeah, to tie up. Fuck. Sad. Sad, but where's it going to end? It's a mess. It's, it's, it's actually a mess because it's like, there's so many stories. And it's like, I remember just watching Beyond the Ring, like I just said, hearing it's about the fabulous Moolah. I didn't expect to hear this two, three months later. Mm. Multiple wrestlers coming out. It's like, you imagine that there, it's a bit of a boys club in like, you know, you know how it is when guys hang out, you go gym and you're into, oh yeah, look, you see that chick, oh man. Look. But you don't expect that it's legit that they're doing shit. Like, that mentality is like, oh. that's fucked up, man. Mad, mad. Mad. That many people are married as well. You gotta remember that. Yeah, Gallagher got married not long ago. A bunch of them got mm-hmm. wives, man. Bear of them. Bear of them. Oh, but, hey. And kiddies too. Yeah, true, man. True, true. It's fucked up. We're gonna keep this show brief because you know it's hard to talk about other shit when all that shit's going on, man, in the world. But we gotta to touch on, you know, backlash. This is Greatest. the greatest. Yeah. You know, to show, not to really, I'm not going to shit on it because I will. a lot of people actually really <laughs> liked it. They actually really liked that match. Like, really impressed. No, by the match was all right. And there are actually yeah. a few people who were like, yeah, it is the greatest. So I'm saying you ain't watched enough wrestling, man. If you honestly think that that was the best. They yeah, probably started watching wrestling in 2013. Yeah, but you only watch WWE. You know what's nothing else. Uh, nah, there ain't no way. But... That's why I said 2013. All credit to him, though. They put on a decent match for, you know, what it was and for how long these guys have been in the biz. They kind of did their thing. For Edge to be away for so long and, yeah. you know, yes, he did have that match at WrestleMania, but in the ring, no. That's it. Kind of. Pulled off. Without a crowd, a proper crowd. True. Fucked himself mm. up, though, man. What, Tory's Peck? Is it Peck? He'll be out for, what, eight, nine weeks or something like that? No. More than that. that. How many months? It's months, yeah. Nine months, that's what I meant to say. Hey, well, I heard about eight, eight nine months. They've got to reattach all that. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. It's a hard one. But at least he won his neck. Yes. Peck in Hill. Yes, I was worried about that, watching mm. the match, actually. Because there was a lot of spots. Like, I was thinking, oh, wait. Mm. He's been a, he's been, it's, obviously, it's been a while. He's only had one match. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? And the match was kind of rough, a little bit rough. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. Took a few bumps. Well, it was, well, it was actually a good match. Did see a lot of finishes, the pedigree, the rock bottom. Mm-hmm. Yo, we saw quite a lot. The Imperial, yo, it's quite good. The, the, how many suplexes did Randy Orton do? You know what that does to your neck as well, man. It's not my worries. Sorry? Well, just from them getting one guy who was semi retired from injury, now they want to drag another guy out of retirement to continue the feud. Fucking Christian. 
his problem was like concussion issues, similar to Daniel Bryan. So why in the hell did he get punted in the head? So apparently he's know. coming back. That's the thing. He got punted in the head. Mm. And then, do you know what? What makes matters even worse? When you saw Ric Flair get in the ring, you just kind of knew where it was going. I know kind of sidetracking to Raw a little bit, but it's within the story. Yeah, yeah. But seeing Ric Flair come out, come on the mic, talk, and it's like, he's blatantly going to hit Christian in the balls. What's, what is Ric Flair got to do anything with Christian? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. It, it was so obvious. I mean... I love Ric Flair, but come on, man. I think we've seen too much of Flair on TV now. True. I think the only thing of me thinking of Flair now is from um, the Last Ride documentary, The Last Step, or the one just before the last, number four. Oh, yeah, the second to last. The last one just aired, yeah. Dude. Mm. I feel sorry for Taker, man. I feel so sorry for him. I actually really like him, you know. He's actually a likable guy. Who take him? Yeah, which I did not expect. I did not expect yeah, him. Man, what you thought he was an asshole? Like guy, huh? You thought the take was an asshole? You never know, man. You know he's a Texas guy. He's you know he's, he, he just don't know what sort of personality he's got. You know he's very you know you know a southern sort of mentality. You kind of yeah, but he's always come across very loyal, very humble, and he's always been about and for the business. I mean, hell. One of my favorite oh, wrestlers, never you know, that. Shawn Michaels. No, but him out. Even with Shawn Michaels, when he was going through his drug problems at the time, take the tape, dismiss stuff, and say, "Listen, don't fuck it up, or you know what's going to happen." That's so one that cares. Never doubted that that he loved the business, but just as a person, you know, I'm so convinced by his gimmick of just not being a, just being a, I don't know, I don't know, certain type. But just seeing him and you know, apparently him hanging with Mark Henry and. In their families and all that I was like okay yes yeah okay okay and he's actually a seemingly good guy yeah, surprisingly man, Undertaker was a good guy no, but you hear all these stories over the years about the Undertaker mm. uh, character and stuff from other wrestlers because obviously you've never really seen the Undertaker come out of character yeah, never. that first. much or even if you do it's a rare rare like do you know yeah. what I'm saying you always hear like guys like Rikishi the Godfather JBL Mark Henry God, yeah, Stone Cold smoking man that's what he does <laughs> certain characters though do you know what I mean like even hearing how close him and Triple H was after mm. all those years like I didn't realise how close they actually was I thought they were cool and tight I didn't know they were that like you know a cross space tight you know what I'm saying so yeah man yeah another thing from Backlash Bro, I don't know whether it's because of Heyman not being in charge of everything now or just bad habits that Vince has, but just the way that they're booking Oscar, man, they finally start to rebuild her and make her like this. Again, she's back kind of on top, and then they just kind of keep booking her to just, even though she wins, she wins by screwy she wins. She did not win. She yeah, did not win. Barely she wins. Not win. like, it takes away the credibility of her being a, a, cha- a worthy champion who can win and beat people. Like they can do it with Charlotte, but they can't do it with Oscar. They don't let her win proper. It's, it's just frustrating. Happen at Backlash, happen on Raw. It's like, come on, man. But Vince doesn't really have any stock in Oscar compared to a uh, Charlotte or a uh, Nia Jax. And we talk about Nia Jax all the time. She just hurts people. A Charlotte you know, given credit, she's a great wrestler, and I think she is. Yeah. It's always down to the last name situation, and that's and pretty fact, annoying because I want Charlotte to come big. out on her own. Long she's fucking annoying. It also helps as well. That's Vince's. Sorry? The fact that she's blown with big tits as well helps because that's Vince's perfect type. That puts her in that perfect oh, yeah. head to run company. Yeah. There's that too, yeah. I could have yeah. But, uh, you know, not bad. Beyond that. Mm, I just think Bad the match was just a waste. Yeah. So much. What a waste. So much. But fast forwarding, this is, I'm still straight straight to SmackDown because I weren't really much on Raw that I gave a damn about. Unless it's no, like... but then MVP calling line up, but, but, yeah. I don't know. But, yeah, straight to SmackDown. 
<laughs> Bryant's back. Bray Wyatt, the cult leader, has returned. So, I don't care about Bray Wyatt. I don't he'll lose. Yeah, he'll, Bray Wyatt. Actually, no, I think he's going to win. I think he's actually going to get that belt off Bray. I mean, off... Um, Strong. Yeah, Braun. I actually think he will. But the title's so irrelevant now. It is. It is. It really is, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm not going to lie to you, dude. I generally forgot that they called that title the Universal Title. I generally forgot. How come? I, I, I just don't know. Do you know when you're just so used to the Universal Title on Raw being red and all that shit, and obviously it's black now. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's the WWE Championship. Like, it's just chopper chasing names all the time, and yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. If I never keep track of which, which is which. Universal, yeah, WWE, I just mean just the WWE. I thought title. it was a SmackDown ti- title. Like, yeah, I just say SmackDown or Raw. SmackDown title. Yeah. He beat Wyatt with a SmackDown t- The Universal, like, dude, what the fuck? Last time I checked, Brock Lesnar was the Universal Champion. Then he lost it to Drew McIntyre. And Drew McIntyre is the WWE heavyweight cha- or champion or heavyweight champion. And now we've got Strowman as the Universal Champion. But I thought the Universal title was red. Now the WWE Championship is black. Don't dude, mean, Matt. Just did that, did that miss something? Yeah. I fucked up, didn't I? I? I must have missed something. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I reckon Bray's going to get it. But I, I like the fact that, you know... Why, though? Why? Because Braun's boring. Who's he going to drop that I just don't think... I just feel they wasted on him, man. I'm sorry, man. I can't get behind him no more. Braun's Not like that, bro. It's just better than Braun. No, but... Look, I, I told you this would happen ages ago. I said, Braun... It's the new big shot. It will get to a point where he'll win the title. Yes, I know it's COVID-19. There's no fans, etc. allowed in the arena. But well, it's, it's wasted. How are you to raw? Because that's, that's one of the reasons why. Um, oh, well. That's one of the reasons well, there why. Were um, fa- there were family members, apparently. So I wouldn't even cross Apparently, there weren't even that. A lot of them weren't. Apparently, there weren't even that. They were like, some of them were just fans that they let fly in. And... Fans, the wrestlers didn't know, and they weren't happy about it once they found out. Because they didn't know until they started wrestling. But were they more not happy about the fact that one of the trainers was actually has the virus? Were they more trainer, pissed off the wrestler, about that? The NXT, non, non-TV NXT wrestler. Well, I heard it was a trainer. No, it was a wrestler, apparently. It's talent. Wrestler, wrestling talent. That hadn't been on TV. Well, I heard that. He was, he was in the crowd, and yeah. Fuck, they're pissed. That's why um, um, Owens hasn't been on TV. He refused to come on Raw. I would refuse. Look at Sammy. Yeah. Look at Roman. Yeah. Fuck that. Putting I'm your foot mad. down, like, boy, my life, my family's more important than this shit. True. Respect to those guys. Exactly. Like, I don't think they're ever going to go anywhere. Like, even though Jericho was like, oh, we'd love to get Roman. He's like the ultimate get, but Roman's never leaving WWE. And if he ever did leave, Roman at AEW, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like nah. to see that. Even if he's too WWE, like, yeah, he's dead. It's all WWE. They built him basically, and even if he did leave, I reckon he'd just do like acting full time. He's actually a decent actor, you know. He's alright. He's alright. He's I actually a decent actor. I was watching some. Marvel I'd rather him do that actually. I'd rather Roman go and do some Hollywood. Show. Watching um, there's a, film, out for there's a film on Netflix called um, The Wrong Missy. It's a comedy. Yeah, Dave, I see Dave. him with David Spade. Yeah. That was funny. And I yeah, see, was... I didn't even know he was in it. And I just see him in this scene at the bar, just like with the tranny. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, shit. Wrong. He was all right. I'm like, okay, okay. I like, I like, but this is the role I like. This is the type of, that type of character where he's just pissed. Mm. He's pissed off at everything. Yeah. That's the role Reigns I wanted as the champion. Yeah. The old shield type of role Reigns. Not this. Snickering, snuckering, sucker tash crap. I didn't, yeah, I know. I tried to leave that in the past, but I, I ain't forget about that. No one will forget about that. Just no, no one will forget. But on the road, like the way they evolved them and shit, uh, no, no, no. This is what you get. You try to shove someone down your throat, people are just going to eventually throw it in the heart. It's as right. simple as that. It's as simple as that. Um, um, yeah, man. We got finally, finally. Sasha no, and finally. defend. Oh yeah, fight night. Nah, Sasha and Bailey finally got to defend their tag team championships on NXT. As they, it's about what two years or whatever since they promised it, but finally happened. 
I know, right? It was a fun little match. You know, it was all right. What it was, essentially, against um, Tegan and Shotzi. Fun little match. Yeah. NXT was all right. Awesome. But AEW is a lot more fun because Brit is just too good right now. Brit Breakers is too good. Too good. I told you. Just too told good. You. I always knew. I never saw this. Once she turned a heel, she was always... Oh, I didn't say you wanted I'm just saying. I'm just saying I told you. Because as I said, from the moment she turned heel, because I had to think back to that that moment where we talked about where she did the did the heel turn. Mm. You're a little bit worried. He was like, oh, I don't know, man. Because she's got that good girl face look. And it just, you know, it didn't really work. But I told you, the development of the character, the way they got Tony Schiavone, like, to put her over and... Uh, shit like that. Uh, just sending yeah. notes on the string to Shivani, mm. saying that he's in a uh, like in a friend zone timeout, and then she her getting kidnapped by Big Swole, and then later. In what the did show, you think about that? That Undertaker esque angle. What Big Swole said. I don't. Well, you have to remember that. I don't remember. Remember backlash. Where did you, Stephanie? Oh, what did Big oh, Swole say? Oh. I thought they did it all right because they kind of made it make sense. They didn't just kidnap her. Just because if it was a, I don't want to shoot on WWE, but if this was a WWE thing, she would have gotten kidnapped or, you know, driven away. But then the next week, she'll be back on TV like nothing could happen. Kind of like what they did with AJ where he got buried and then turned back on TV with no explanation. At least no, they, they didn't know what to do because at least with they it, were still unsure about the Undertaker. That's what I want to see her later in the trash. Big Swole just dumped her in the trash. And then when um, Rebby, Rebel, or Rebel, whatever her name is, went there to find her, I like the fact that Britt acknowledged the cameras that were there. Like, why did you bring the cameras? Why's the light in here? Like, I wanted them to see <laughs> you're okay. I like that they didn't treat the cameras as invisible. That's something that always pisses me off about wrestling, where they it's treat the cameras like it's invisible. Like, you don't need that. I like it when they acknowledge it. It, it is a bit dumb sometimes. Yeah. You see these situations that could be potentially real. But it's like, there's cameras here. This just, yeah. I don't know, really it's it. like... Even more, they should even just refer to the cameraman as his name, like, Jim, what are you doing It, You know, the sign, just give it, make him... Just give it some type of realism, you know? Yeah, I like it. I like it when they do that. So that was yeah. funny. And um, Anna J, I believe her name is, Anna Jane J, finally got on TV. She's a AEW women's wrestler that I've been stalking, I mean... Following from, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah, I've, I've, I've been aware of that. Remember the t-shirt, I'm worried, guys. I was joking. <laughs> but yeah, I've been aware of aware of her for a little while. But yeah, she so finally mm. put her on TV, find herself. But I like the fact that they built it up like this big debut. Gave her a little video package, made it like this is gonna come on, she's gonna win, and then you know the new baby face. Kind of to take the place of Statland and know that she's injured. But just for the that horror, Abaddon or Abaddon or whatever her name is, to come up. She's kind yeah. of like uh, Sue Young. Similar sort of gimmick. Come up, bury the fuck out of her. But then the dark orders to come and take her away to give her help. Mm. And, her. and that was like, yeah, I think they, they could do with a female member, man. That could be interesting. They need one. They need one. If they really want to get over, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about my, my team, man. Yeah. A little bit more. <laughs> I think I get a word cool. about my team. <laughs> I'm curious to see what they do with her. That's uh, I like that. I like that. They were in a good position there, so that's interesting. So doing what I do stuff. like, I'm happy I got to see my boy Ricky Starks. Yeah, yeah, my boy. Starks. Happy. What Stroke happy. Daddy? What's his name? Stroke Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When, when I was watching NWA Power. Like, our first row turn, I'm thinking, I don't know. Sorry about this cat. Yeah. I like him, but he's a little bit off his heart. But I like those type of characters. Like, yeah. kind of pick the wall. He's similar. Himself, you know what I'm he's similar to what, how Sammy was when AEW, Sammy Guevara, when AEW started. That character. Because Sammy's changed a bit. He's a lot more comedic now. But he, when it started, he had that arrogant, I'm just a pretty boy, all the girls love me. So they would have been mm. a good like they could have been a good tag team if he was still in that character. But now Sammy's more comedy, so the sex gods. I'm loving that's just the name. It's so good. The sex gods. I love that, man. Too good. It's too good. Dude, is that really Sammy? Because they're still posting that picture around, man. No, no, no. That's, that is, that's just them trolling, man. It weren't Sammy. Are you sure? Definitely weren't him. How how you how do you know? 
Does everyone say it was a troll? Everyone seems to acknowledge that it was just a joke that they're just kind of going with. They're still rolling with it. Someone just posts, some random person has posted it as a joke and then everyone's just kind of going with it. All right. Because if it comes back, that was Guerrero. It does it it can make like sense. Him. You can see it looks nothing like him at all. Like no one looks great. like themselves when they're little kids, though. I don't look like myself when I was a little brat. I Shit. bet I could see a picture of you when you were 10. I could still recognize it was you against Yo, that's what I'm 10. That's what my face is. That's what my face is built. Even five. The, the kid looked about a four, four five year old. Even Come on. five. I bet you I could pick you out from a class photo. Easy. <laughs> Easy. No problem. That's because my father is Jesus. So strong. That's why. Right. Isn't it? <laughs> but yeah. So all of that. Who else? Who else? Mm. Now with that. Damn. Nothing. That's oh my goodness. Where FTR? Oh yeah, FTR. Oh, I'm seeing little cracks, you know, with um, I'm hearing bitching like uh, from uh, best friends online, how people are getting like tag opportunities before them. The whole sporting win loss record thing starting to go out the window. Like with the night you said, you called it a couple of weeks ago. You said you don't really see how this yeah. is all balanced and out yeah. anymore. You're right. Because, yeah, the Nightmare family getting an opportunity. And what's his face? Yeah, that makes no sense. Chuck Burst. It Chuck. doesn't. Yeah, Chuck was on online saying how they got attacked. So I'm already seeing people bitching about how booking's going. And the fact that they got beaten as well. But it did make sense for the story because I like Orange Cassidy pretending to be the cameraman and then beating the shit out of um, Jericho. Yeah, Jericho. I did like that too. Mm. I did like that too. We'll see. We'll see where it goes with that. Well, they got a match at Fighter first. That should be fun. Jericho mm. and um, Irish Cast, but that's good though. That's what I like about Jericho, man. He's worked with the younger talent, man. I like he's pulling people over. He's really he's doing what he should do for a guy in his position. He's building up young guys. He's helping Sammy, giving him the rub, having him next to him, and he's building up Orange. His whole stable, his whole stable. Yeah, his whole stable. Think about it. Uh, we look at we look at Swagger, aka Jake Hager. Yeah, he's right? The only one really ain't getting a whole lot, but. Well, no, but when you think about it, in WWE, I mean, they kind of just dropped the ball with him. They didn't really have any good ideas with him. They pushed him to the moon too fast, which was always my problem in the first place. Tried to make him angry. Gave him the world title too quick. And then after that, they had the We The People, and it just didn't get anywhere. Well, obviously, the him stable with Vicky Guerrero and Dolph Ziggler, but... Even that, they just they just flopped on him. Man. They tried to make an angle, but he ain't got Angle's personality to carry that sort of gimmick. Ah, oh, because at that time, I th- well, I just think on the mic he ain't really that he much of a tool. Yeah. If he just bees himself, yeah. If he just bees himself, he's cool, right? He can pretty much get fired. But if they try to, like you said, like you just said about making more like Angle, and then then they started taking a piss about his list and shit, which I thought was fucking terrible. You can't be doing that, but you know Vince. You know Vince. Oh, I like it. Let's take the piss out of your list. Like, yeah. dude, it's and fucked you, up, man. Apparently, you hear why um Bianca Belair ain't been on TV? No, because they called her up with no plans. They've literally got no plans, no story for her, so they figured just leave her at home. So they called her up for nothing. So she's not hurt. She's not injured. She ain't pissed no one off. It's just. They got nothing for it. So what was the point of coming up? So because I saw, I saw um, her celebrating uh, Montez Ford's um, birthday. That was kind of cool. They looked like they had fun, man. That was kind of cool. Mm. Wish my girl would do something like that for me. That would be kind of cool still. But anyways. Good work. But I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I oh, mean... Waste of time. Wow. Oh, God. But what are they doing? What are they doing? The women's division is abysmal. I know we talked about AEW's women's division abysmal, but WWE's women's abysmal. They're raw. Yeah. Women's division as abysmal as well. It is trash, bro. It is trash. This whole when we're not getting an evolution to anyways. Like, bro, what's going on? What's going on? Why have to give divas a chance? Divas a chance, not women. Divas. This is what I said to you last week. Nothing wrong with again. the word diva. It's only how you define if you book them to be brown. I candy, know. It becomes a bad thing. But you them. know what? You might as well bring that motherfucking butterfly belt back. You might as well. Don't do that. I, no, I hate the belt too. I hate the belt too. But guess what? Since they made the WWE Women's Championship belt and the SmackDown Women, they ain't been treated. No, 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 no. no. Mm-hmm. Everything just has gone. Everything's just press reset. 100%. Becky's out the pitch because she's going to be a mom, right? Other than that, what's going on? Rousey ain't coming back. 
Vince has officially news officially broke up that he's definitely giving up on Shayna Baszler. Let's say okay. I'm wrong. I don't remember. I don't Do remember I? if I saw her. <laughs> Jesus. I remember seeing her for like two weeks. Last time I remember seeing Shayna Baszler was when they asked her comments about Becky Lynch's pregnancy. Yeah. And she just made a little comment. That was it. Yeah. That was it. She, if anything, she should be the one that's taken on an Oscar. Yeah. Really? Really? But she's not. Yeah. That's so bad. See, where's Ruby Riot? She didn't get released. Where the Another fuck is she? wasted female talent. One of their better actual wrestlers and they just denied. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dude, did you hear about that crazy dude that keeps um, trying to get in? Apparently Lacey Evans and um, Dana Brooke must have tried to invite him backstage. You know the guy that keeps that's hanging around the performance center? He had to get removed off the premises by the cops a couple of weeks. Did you hear about that? No, I didn't hear about that. Well, one crazy dude. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I thought we covered it. Like, one dude Tom Crazy dude that's been hanging around the performance center. He's been trying to break in. Um, such a oh, man, to break in. <laughs> but apparently, I think he had it on Instagram live, right? He was on Instagram outside the performance center and shit. You can hear Dana Brooke and Lacey Evans at the background. Now, apparently, you know, we were talking earlier about they've been letting um, people in. Yeah, yeah. By the door. Apparently, they let him in, but they didn't know about his history of being the stalker. Oh, is this the guy from a few years back who was always trying to do this? There was a guy... I'm not sure. I don't know if it's the same dude. Mm. I'm not sure. But this dude's been popping up um, a few times recently. He got removed from the premises not too long ago, and then he he came back. Weirdo. Weird shit. But uh, another one. What's going on with Dana Brooke? They look like they gave up for Lacey Evans. That was quick. They got bored, yeah. They looked like they were they starting to do that with Dana and they've given up on that. They just... just they can't stick with people, man. Carmella seems to be irrelevant again. I mean, the only thing she has is that new podcast with her um, her boy, Corey. That's about it. Yeah, we'll listen to that. Cool idea. But, I mean, I feel sorry for her. She ain't getting used. If you're not a horsewoman, man, then you're done. You are. Even so, no, but even even if you're a horsewoman, I mean, Bailey's run looks poor. It, it looks as as poor as the first title run. The heel gimmick, it's kind of falling flat already. If I'm honest, they're not doing anything more dastardly, are they? It's building up for when Sasha is going to turn on her, and then you know what? I'm going to go out of the limb and say it. I think Bailey's going to retain the title and win the feud over Sasha Banks, hundred percent. Mm. I don't see Sasha Banks recovering from this. And also, you've got... I'm sorry, I know I'm getting passionate, but... The women's division just pisses me off. Because they're not doing nothing. And look, Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. What the fuck is... They're going to break them up? they done to Nikki, man. I just can't forgive it, man. It's such no, a joke now. I hear... I mean, people are saying to me, oh, what, is Alexa Bliss going to turn hill? Yeah, probably. But guess what? They might just turn Nikki Hill. It's too late now. They should have done it. Well, it's too ago. late. No one gives a fuck about either of them. When there were crowds still there, they should have done it then. It's too late now. Should have done it ages ago. Should have done it when they lost the titles. Mm. And then they could have done the story. Oh yeah, I've been carrying you, dead weight for six, uh, x amount of months. Blah 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 blah. But all for what we know, once that's done, neither of them are going to be having a good recovery. Alexa Bliss's character is dried up. Let's be honest. It is dried the fuck up. Nikki Cross doesn't even have a character anymore because she's far away from the girl, from the banshee that used to scream all the fucking time. What's she going to be now that she's going to be out on her own? No. What is she going to be? Tell me. Nikki I'm will be the new Molly Holly. That's how she'll be booked if she, when she goes single again. Just there to book up. No, I can't, I can't see her being a feminist. No she way. She'll be there to book people over. That's all she'll be booked as. She might as well just join up with Killian Dane. Where the fuck is Killian Dane? Oh my lord. I can see it. Yeah, she, she was better off. She should have stayed at NXT, man. I reckon apparently there's more news that more people are going to go back there. So, who knows? Finn, Who knows? one minute Finn looks like it's a waste of time, but I think they did him better this week. 
They seem to be yeah, moving this... back in a better thing, but we'll see. Now he's in a triple threat with Keith Lee and Gargano for the, the North American Championship. Mm. Apparently, winner take all. Apparently, if the winner of that gets to face Adam Cole in a winner take all match, yeah. which I'm kind of intrigued about. So, if, say, Keith Lee does win, then what? Are they going to have him versus Cole for the title? And then either Keith Lee wins the NXT title, and then we could safely assume they do something with Adam Cole. Or well, Adam Cole becomes a double champion because I can't see Gargano winning the belt. I'm sorry. Won't if he wins the belt, he is not winning the NXT title. Won't be Gargano. Gargano. I, don't think, Finn, I don't even think Adam's going to win. I don't think he could. They can't, they can't afford Finn being the, what, the NXT champion again. I'm sorry. It's, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. I reckon they're higher on him than we are. So I reckon that's a possibility. I think Keith is more bigger possibility, but I think it's either between him and Finn. Keith makes more sense. Not saying because of the movement. I, and I know WWE, they'll try to do some bullshit like that. Oh, we'll make him NXT champion to, 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 for the Black Lives Matter situation. No, I don't want to see that. No, I don't want to see that. Because they should have been given more um, yeah, black versus more yeah. opportunity. Why now? Patronizing at this point, yeah. Basically, basically. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see that. I want to see Keith Lee get the title one way or another, but not because of yeah. what's going on. Do you know what I mean? So, so yeah, that goes on. I, I don't know. It's a, it's a fucking mess, if I'm honest with you, man. It's a fucking mess. Well, but, um, it's crazy, crazy time. New Japan's come back, but they're doing a the no crowd thing, but they're not doing it with anyone in the crowd. So it's really, it's like how WWE was when it first started doing the no crowd stuff, where it was just quiet, dead quiet, and it's just, you can't wait. Uh, it's just like horrid. No. No. Yeah, you need some someone cheering and shouting just to give a little energy, so it's uh, not 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 watchable. I, I don't think I could go back to New Japan. No. Not, not like that. Not like yeah, that. Not like that. They need energy <laughs> crowd there. Mm. Oh boy! I might check great. out. I <laughs> might check out Slammiversary. I think or is it gone already? No, I yeah, it's gone. Yeah. They're not sure even. Tomorrow? They're not sure even. I don't even know if what's Tessa. She must be able to come back because they booked her in a, a big like, I think four way match or some shit. Um, it's probably been in her benefit to be stuck in Mexico for so long, because know all the racist shit that she was having a few months back. Yeah, you know, but come on, man. The whole but MLB this movement good this, that she went listen, around. But this movement going on now. That's what I'm saying. That's you why really I was good. Think she still it. be safe, dude. Come on, come on! It's not. It's I don't not. know because it's. It seems, I mean, Ricochet's the only one that can stand up for a being doing that. You know the industry is like, man. It, the the people in general, it moves on quickly. That was like a month ago. That was what everyone was talking about. But now it's all about what's going on with um, all these sex pests. That's the that's the narrative now. It's a mess. It's a mess. So, yeah. so we'll see who else gets ah. exposed in the next few. Days, most likely. You know, I'm 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 waiting to hear all the old timers get exposed. That's why I'm more. Cause there weren't as many women then, and a lot of them now they're all like mums and that, and they don't really want to have that with their kids oh, knowing about us. Come on, you know, look how many people came off and went for Bill Cosby's throat. Yeah, anything, anything can happen. Full on rape. I don't think the wrestlers were full on doing that, but you never know. You but never like, know, bro. I didn't expect like. like so much people to come out. It won't happen. Name him without a hat. Some shit that went down. Molly ain't gonna, yeah. ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Different attitude. <laughs> Boy, so Ryan, where can they find more of yours? <laughs> well, guys. <laughs> well, guys, of course, check out my YouTube channel, Ryan, Ryan Williams AFC, to check out all the Arsenal content. Of course, a new upload will be coming out tonight. Of course, the match. Reaction to Arsenal versus Brighton. We all know the scoreline, so guys, check out that, of course. And um, yeah, hit me up on Instagram, same Ryan Williams, AFC, and Twitter, RJ Wills. And the rest about you. Why? Well, if you're listening to the audio of this, check out Vulture Network on YouTube. You can check out me on the DC versus Marvel podcast, talking all superhero business. You can see me on the Talking at the Movies podcast and all the bonus episodes of that. I'm all over the place, bro. 
too much. And also, Wrestling Ruckus Instagram, the best wrestling based Instagram account online. Make sure yeah. you follow. Mm. Damn right. So, guys, from me and Reese, I'm Ryan. You guys next week. Later. Peace.